Experiment number 65. Thermochromism. There are several cases when different temperatures have to be pointed out with different colors. This is possible due to a special property of some substances, that of changing color when temperature changes. The property is called thermochromism, and we are going to study two different cases. As we are working with mercury and silver compounds, we have to take care of the following. Mercury compounds are toxic, being hazardous chemicals. The chloride is caustic and harm the environment. The silver salts are powerful biocides, therefore they harm the environment. The nitrate being also corrosive oxidizer. Two examples of substances showing thermochromism will be analyzed. The synthesis of the mercury iodide weighs 4.4 grams of the mercury salt. And dissolve it in 70 milliliters of water. You might need little heating in order to ensure a complete dissolution of the salt. In the next step, wake 5.5 grams of potassium iodide. Dissolve it in the minimum amount of water needed, less than 10 milliliters are enough. Slowly add the potassium iodide to the mercury solution. Observe the abundant formation of an orange precipitate of mercury 2 iodide. Filter off the precipitate and let it dry. Once dried, place the precipitate on a hot plate heated over 150 degrees Celsius. Observe how the mercury iodide changes color first to bright red then gradually becomes yellow. After cooling down, the yellow substance turns orange and becomes yellow again if reheated. A second substance showing thermochromism is the silver tetraiodomercurate. For this, we follow the steps taken in the synthesis of the orange mercury iodide. Dissolve 
dissolve 9 grams of mercury chloride in 70 milliliters of water. Gently heat the mixture to allow the complete dissolution of the salt. When dissolved, cool down the solution and prepare a solution of 11 grams potassium iodide in 70 milliliters of water. Add dropwise under constant stirring half of the iodide solution to the mercury chloride. Observe the abundant mercury iodide precipitate. Keep adding the rest of the potassium iodide solution and observe the dissolution of the orange precipitate. When the mercury chloride potassium iodide molar ratio reaches the level 1 to 4, we get a clear yellowish solution of a complex, the potassium tetra iodomercurate. Add to this the stoichiometric amount of silver nitrate necessary to replace the potassium ions in the complex with the silver ones. The golden precipitate is characteristic for the formation of the silver tetraiodomercurate. Do not keep too long this mixture. Filter it and dry the precipitate in a dark place as it is very light sensitive. If you heat the yellow solid over 50 degrees Celsius, notice how the color changes to a bright red. If we let it to cool down, the bright yellow color is regained. Attention is needed when discarding the waste chemicals. Mercury is poisonous and both mercury and silver harm the environment. Discard all mercury in and silver containing solutions in a container for toxic inorganic waste. Keep the solids for later demonstrations.